Hello and welcome or welcome back to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana and today we're going to be taking a look at the all new FontSelf app for the iPad. In the past, FontSelf has been an extension for Photoshop and Illustrator, but now you can create your own fonts directly from your tablet. This video will show you exactly how the FontSelf app works and how it allows you to create fonts of your own completely in vector without the need for plotting any points. Then I'll show you how you can import your font into your favorite programs like Procreate and Adobe Fresco. Ready? Let's jump in. So when you open the FontSelf app, you will notice that there are pre-installed templates that you have access to. The first six templates were created in collaboration with Babel Type Design Studio. So that's pretty cool, especially as beginners who might be learning to draw letters for the first time. It'll be great to use if you need guidance on where to place your letters. You also have the option to use the last two templates, which are blank, that you can just use to create your own font right on top of those templates. Once you're in the template that you'd like, you have a few options of how you can view your screen. You can change your view to make it easier for you to see the boundaries and the guides for each letter. So if you find any of these visuals distracting, this is where you'll go to turn those on and off. You also have the option of zooming in and out to be able to view your entire alphabet, including numerals and punctuation. As you draw your letters, you can see a full preview of how your font will look you can simply tap in the top box and even edit the text to be whatever you'd like. Under your font settings, as you progress with your font, you can look at adjusting the letter spacing as well as the word spacing and be able to preview it in real time. To isolate your view to any individual letter, you can simply double tap that letter with one finger. In this app, you are drawing completely in vector with your brush tools. Let's take a look. There are five different tools that you can use. You have the brush, the pencil, the pen, the column, and the marker. You'll notice that you have the option to change your brush size, as well as other features like controlling your streamline, which you might recognize from programs like Procreate. This will help stiffen up your stroke and give you more control as you draw. You'll notice that FontSelf also has two finger tap to undo and three finger tap to redo. Adjusting your pressure setting will make your brush more sensitive as you apply more or less pressure. This will give your stroke more of a varied width and look. If ever you want to erase something, you can simply use the eraser tool. And with trim strokes toggled on, you'll notice that you're able to erase your strokes more so in segments. How about if you're drawing your font and you need to make an edit? You have the option to copy or paste any strokes from any of your letter forms onto other letter forms by just highlighting with the selection tool and selecting copy, and then highlighting again and selecting paste. This is a great handy trick for establishing consistency across similar strokes throughout your font. Another cool way of using this app is to preview your font and share it on social media. So they actually have type specimens that are pre-configured and pre-designed for you to use. But if you're using the free version, just know that it'll have a small watermark at the bottom. You'll need the premium version of the FontSelf app, which is $9.99, in order to export your final font file as an OTF or OpenType font. 
So basically the main way that you're going to be able to access your font will be by first saving the font to your files app. So I'm going to start by doing that and then we'll jump into our other programs and import it from there. So now I can open Procreate, hit add text, and importing your font is as simple as hitting import font and selecting your font file. From there, you can find the name of your font in the regular list of fonts and change it accordingly. In your Adobe programs like Illustrator or Fresco, for example, you can open your text box, go to your list of fonts, and hit the little plus sign icon and select Add More. From there, you'll be redirected to select your font file from your Files app. From there, you can select your font and use it in your program as you usually would. If you're someone who uses Affinity Designer, from your home screen, you can simply go to your Preferences and then go to the Font section. At the very bottom, you'll see a little cloud. From there, you can navigate to your font where you saved it in your Files app. From there, your font will be available across all of your documents. Would I recommend this app? Definitely would recommend it to people who are beginners, who are eager to create their own fonts, but want it to be a little bit more accessible and easier than using a program like Glyphs where you have to plot points, which can be kind of tricky. This is definitely a new experience, but I think that it's great and what they've done so far is really impressive. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Be sure to share it with a friend, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I post weekly videos, and I'm eager to hear from you in the community to hear what you'd like to see next from this channel. Thank you so much for your support, and I'd love to see if you guys end up creating any fonts with the Font Self app. Be sure to tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys are making. Thank you so much again for your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.